Hey, Flixing, what's going on? Welcome, everybody. Looks like Twitch notifications are actually working today. Uh, what a miracle, really. Oh, you're timing. <laughs> I'm reading my Discord. It looks like Hope's power just got turned on. Hey, Blooper. Demonic Wolf, what's going on, guys? So, I'm just going to give people a few minutes to stop in here uh, until I hop into the game. Real Yoni, get a room you two. How's it going? Turns out you gotta enable notification, not just follow. Yeah, that, that usually helps. Hey Joe, how's it going? I made a mistake, I tried to reinstall Steam, nearly wiped out how my library then the Steam would be good to... <laughs> the Steam would be good to calm me down. Well, hopefully, things might get intense. Hey, Auntie Q, how are you doing, man? It's such a great nickname. <laughs> Especially when you're called out by a streamer, yeah. Hey, Jeff Gamer. Um, wow, well, I'm glad you didn't end up wiping out your library, Spy Master. Hey, the Ender Blast. Um, glad you're doing well, Hansi. I'm doing pretty good. Thank you. Uh, this Friday Facts was quite interesting. I didn't understand some parts of it, but it uh, it's always really cool to see how you guys do stuff behind the scenes and like all your automated processes. Victoria was a casualty. You gotta be kidding me, Spy Master. Come on, dude. <laughs> um... All right, let me load up. That's a multiplayer game. We're not quite there yet. Um, now we'll load up. All right. I don't really know what we're doing. All right, we're doing that. So, rails. Um, grab some signals here. Just in case, we have rail signals forever. Uh, and then grab some of those. Some power poles would probably be good. Dan Leo. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> wow, Demonic Wolf, thank you very much for the bits. I appreciate it. <laughs> Even if it was just to piss off Hanzi Q. Now I gotta go to 9999. Yeah, see, now you get the idea. You gotta beat him, Hanzi. Get him. <laughs> Alright, so we have our straight sections here. What I'd like to do today is try to set up all the rest of the parts. So T junction for four lane and some 90 degree turns as well. I'd like to try to avoid diagonals, uh, so I'd like to just make 90 degree turns. I'll be to, back. Um, doing the, the diagonal half turns or the 45s like I have previously. And uh, Unfurled Adam, thank you for the uh, follow. That would be, is it really that much? You cannot cheer your own channel. Thanks, Twitch. I didn't... <laughs> I wanted to, uh... Why won't they let you cheer your own channel? They'd actually make money on that. It's okay, Hansi. Don't wor worry about it. $150 is nothing, right? You guys sold a million copies. It's fine. Debating on either skipping sushi or... Cheering. <laughs> a thousand to one. I mean, I think the answer is pretty obvious. Busy watching through your playlist exterminator. I have to say it's pretty awesome content. Well, thank you, Leo. I appreciate that. Glad you're jo enjoying it. Um, looks like it, it looks like some people are still like catching up with the series, which kind of makes sense. I know school's still in in some places. People are doing exams. Hey, Alnora, how are you doing? I haven't seen you in a while. I've never seen you use a T junction that goes to a single two-way track for outposting. Um, well, that may be something we need to do because, uh, yeah, I don't want to be going to four lanes just for an outpost, right? 
so I'm trying to clear these trees. I can actually make some poison capsules. Hey V, how are you doing? Really, uh, really, really good Friday facts today. I quite enjoyed it, even though I didn't understand all of it. It was, uh, it was really well explained, and I liked all the examples. The man, the legend, <laughs> yes, he's here. My holiday is in three weeks. Still three weeks until your holiday? Much more interested in your series now that you're leaving the early game. Yeah, I kind of figured that. I feel like I would have, I probably, um will pick up some more people once I go into Mega Base stage, because I know people don't really like seeing the early game as much. A rather ignorant question about power. Go for it. Just recently found you to be honest to explain things the w way my brain likes. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad you're doing well, V. You always see pump, boiler, steam engine. Why never turbines instead of steam engine? Um, because turbines need 500 degree steam to actually work fully, so based on the amount of resources they actually cost to make compared to a steam engine, I feel like it wouldn't be worth using a turbine because it would only work at uh, like a fourth or a third of the max amount because a boiler only creates, what is it, like 150 degree steam, I think? 165. Um, so you, you, you would need, and I don't think the steam can combine to get hotter, so it would always just be 165. Get off my time slot. I beat you to it, Will. Oh, I thought fire and degree was the nuclear stuff, not turbine. That was my confusion, then it makes sense now. No worries. It was, uh, it would be cool if that worked. Hey, Hope. Lemon, what's going on? Hey, Zuri. You know, I never tried it, um, but I'm guessing that you'd get the same power out of it and it would just be more expensive. Yeah, I, I, overall, you'd get the same power. So, let's work on a T junction, which I'm going to completely fail because it's four lane, and, well, we all know how that's going to go. So, this is why I'm doing this on stream because I need help. Now it's fine, you'll need to eat in the next two to four minutes. Well, more like two hours, but yeah. So, how do we want to do this T-junction? Because it needs to be bigger. Ooh, that's done. Um, bigger than that. I feel like... How did this other one work? How many sections was this? Because these power poles should pretty much line up. It was like... One... And at th like two and a half? Or three. No, it was like three sections long, right? Yeah. So, I think if I start... Oh, that's not the right one. If I start off by making... Where's my damn blueprint? If I start off by making this three sections long, then that can be our starting point. Give it at least four. You think it should be four sections? I mean, that's just this thing, then. You think four? That's, that's, that's workable, I suppose. I could have just used this big blueprint, then, but... That's okay. So... I guess, yeah, I, I don't want to use, like, this specific thing, because that's for blueprinting and, and stuff. Four gives you space. Fair enough. Alright. Let us, let us see. So, I want this to be kind of centered. Uh, like the other one was between the power poles, but that's not actually possible because there's a power pole in the middle now. I'm gonna have to move some of these power poles. What I'm gonna have to do, um, as long as I don't move the ones on the end, it should I'll be okay. Be back. I think I just have to move the ones on the inside. Um, so for now, I'm gonna get rid of this middle one because it's gonna be in my way, and then we can uh, connect these in some sort. And non non chuck it, uh, fuck it, fuck. <laughs> Fuket, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Before laying, you don't want it to work the same way. All right. Well, I, I actually I have no idea how I'm supposed to do this. 
I think the easiest way would be to start with four lane vertical, kind of like I did the other one, and then tie in. So like, is there any way to figure out if this thing's centered? That looks pretty centered to me, right? So if we just take this down, I don't know how much space I'm gonna need, but I can always bring it up. Make the shortest turn first. Right. I feel, I'm gonna go super OCD here. I'm gonna go like will levels of OCD. <laughs> I need to see if this is centered. Okay, so what we do is we make a measuring stick of this, which is 44, and then we take it here. And it would help if I actually zoomed out so I could see something. It's not centered. It needs to move over literally one tile to the right. Am I on Will's stream? Whole thing needs to move over one tile to the right. It's centered. No, it's not, dude. I just measured it. Or did I measure it wrong? I may have measured it wrong. Yeah, because see how that goes to the end? Oh yeah, I can't move one tile because it's two tiles. Damn it. Blueprint the power pole. No, okay, I trust you. It's centered. I trust you. Okay, so longest turns first, you said? Oh, this is where my brain breaks, guys. This is where this is where I, I don't do so good. Okay, so this one heads this way, which means that it needs to be able to come from that direction and then also leave the other direction, right? Aren't the rail signals too close together? Um, no, they're not. Uh, this is space for four cargo wagons because this allows me to um, use any train that's a multiple of four length. Uh, so that's why there's more signals here. I really don't know where to start. Like, does it, so with this, outside goes to outside, right? And then inside to inside. So like this top one would go to this one over here. And then the next one would go to this one. I'm pretty sure. The real question is like, how do I actually make it curve nicely? And I'm, I'm not, I'm not sure. Like, do I, do I want to go like diagonal now or, I mean, I know how to connect it. It's just, which way do we want to connect it? Because you know, one way is going to be different than the other. Like, do I want to go straight and then curve like this? Or should I have gone diagonal and then done it that way. My brain is bleeding. It's painful to watch. That's the point, dude. <laughs> That's the point. This is uh, this is why I'm doing this on stream because I, I struggle. Hold shift. How does that help? I suppose I could do something like that. Like that maybe? That's not really that tight of a curve, is it? When you click the arrow on the track, hold shift. So that works, right? Does that work? And this one would come up and do the same thing. I think. This, um... This, these biters, man, if they interrupt my work, someone's gonna die. Hey, dog, how are you doing? I feel like this needed to... Screw you, game. Oh, so like that? Oh, I see. So shift did help. Shut up. Let's get rid of these because they're going to confuse me. We'll resignal this whole thing once we're done. 
Okay. But these curves don't match, I don't think. Oh, well, maybe they do. It's gonna drive me nuts. Okay, so there's that. But then these also, so that's if they're coming that way, but they also need to leave this way. So then, shit. I'm already lost. Wouldn't that be the diagonal track, aka bad for UPS, even if easy to signal? Well, yeah, but there's not going to be that many of them. Left turn is opposite. Oh, yeah, I'm an idiot. Yep, sorry. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, so he's going to come up. This is, now this is where I have issues. It's like making this curve in a spot that's gonna be the same type of curve this did. I think maybe if I just hold shift, um, I actually wanna do the outside one first, I think. So theoretically, maybe if I mirror this, so if I bring this up to like here, it does not look right. And there's no way I can signal that. I don't think that's gonna work. That's the same. Well, it's the same, but how the hell am I gonna signal this? There's no way I can signal that. It's way too tight, I think. Go up one more tile before the turn, but then it's not gonna be the same. Start the turn farther up. So go up one more. Like that. It's not gonna, it's not the same turn now. Oh, that looks awful. Oh, that looks terrible, guys. And I still don't think I can, oh no, I can signal this actually. Then fix the first one. But won't fixing the first one just do what was broken with the other one? That's what I'm saying. It's just gonna make this other part not signalable, I think. Screw you, track. Because now, if I do this, this part is not, I guess though since it's a right-hand drive, I had signal on the outside, so that's fine, right? Okay, so then this one, uh, this one I think maybe needs to s turn sooner. Because this is a, I mean, you obviously can't signal a damn thing in here. Uh, that's the part of figuring out rail blueprint, place and replace. Yeah, I guess so. Go up as far as you can and make the turn diagonal part as small as possible. Okay. Hope says turn later on the second one. So, like, how much later? Like, a tile later? That doesn't do anything. I could go another tile. Like that. Oh no, that's terrible. I need to, I can't do that. This is gonna have to be it. There we go. Okay, so there's that bit. And then this one, so this guy came up to here. Okay, so there's that part, and then this needs to go like that, and then these need to go like that. Hey, Dama, what's going on? You could do that first one you didn't do if you redid your... Wait, you could do that first one you didn't do if you redid your left north-south rail. I think going to be weird blocks, but that should work. Well, I mean, is there a better way to do it, Hope? Because if there is, I'd like to do it, you know, the easiest way possible. First rail on the left. Points for looking cool. First rail on the left. Yeah, this one. It's going to that upper portion for now. Well, but what about these parts? I need to make rails there, right? See how the blocks look. Okay. Um, so this one, I'm going to try not to reference my other thing. This is part of the learning process. 
Why do you always choose an evening when I've got something the next morning and got work tomorrow? I'm sorry. I mean, I can't stream any earlier because I work. I would if I could, man. I'm sorry. Okay, so if we go here... Um, this can't be signaled. Kind of needs to be, doesn't it? Because, like, if we look at this one, which I just said we wouldn't reference, you see how there's a signal on the inside there? You can't do that here. Up at the very top, you see how there's the normal before that merge, and then there's the chain below it? You can't do that here. Yeah, these are too close, which is why I didn't want to move this one, but then they're not symmetrical. Are you doing your plate trains same size as the ore trains? Um, no, uh, the plate trains will be 363s. Three Left rail needs to turn later to make it shorter. Yeah, but then they're not symmetrical, and it's going to look terrible. Uh, the throughput impact will be minimal. Move far left, far right, down one tile. They'll give you the block for signals. You can move both other lines in one tile. Okay. Well, but V, um, just quickly. Um, if we can't signal this part, V, I think that breaks it. Because we definitely need a chain signal inside here, I think. Don't we? Well, let's, let's try moving this down one tile, both of them. But I think this is just going to give us the same scenario we had before, where then this middle part in here is not sig uh, able to be signaled. I'm pretty sure this is the same scenario we had initially. You had three, ten, three, or whatever, and then two extra tiles of gap. It's fine. You can fit the chain signal inside. You will just have to triangles work as one block. You could probably throw a chain signal on the main line with about a half second of a delay, probably. Hmm. So if we start this turn here, there's two ways I can, I could do it like that or like that. I'm not sure which one's better. Oh, well, that's what we had. So I think I want this. But then... See, but now I can't even signal this middle part. That's what I'm saying. Is I have to do it like this, but then they're not symmetrical. I don't think. No, they look like crap. See how this is different? Jeremy, do you use mods? Um, a couple. Dude, but this looks... Uh, I can't stand this. No way. Uh-uh. <laughs> I can't stand this. It's not acceptable. Fix the inside two lanes. But something is not going to be symmetrical, and it's going to drive me crazy. Because if I do this, uh, outer left wasn't good. What do you mean? Yeah, that Friday packs look like it took quite a bit of effort to write. It's worth it, though. Does that make it? Yeah, not really. That helps. No, it doesn't. That still looks horrible. How the real keeps forming the shape of a question mark. You have them turning at different points, that's why it's not symmetrical. Yeah, Texan, but if they don't turn at different points, then I don't have enough room to signal. That's the problem. Left lane turns under the inside lane, right lane turns at the inside lane. But 
Okay, look. Okay, this... Okay, yes, they turn at different times, and there's a reason they turn at different times, because if they don't, then I can't signal it. I don't know, do we need those? Make the turns earlier? <laughs> but ma making the turns earlier just means I still... I can't... If I make the turn earlier, it's gonna bring it even farther down and make it even harder to signal. See, so if I like make the turn down here, now it's just not signalable in there at all. So extreme, you can make it bigger and have the vertical turns clear each other before hitting the horizontal. Well, that would be really weird. It can be symmetrical with all signals. Three separate junctions. Well, we could try that. This is gonna drive me crazy, guys. Just embrace the asymmetry. No. I refuse. Change to six track spacing between the track at the junction. <laughs> yeah, sure thing, Hope. Okay, so if I make the turns, like, here... Hey! Conventional Underking, what's up? Can't fix sig signals try making it bigger in some direction, rinse and repeat. Yeah, I think that's a reasonable way to do it. Pretty sure this is still not gonna work, but... So yeah, that's why I switched to creative mode. Designing saves so much time. Yeah, but... Well, not... I mean, this. it's not like I'm out of materials or anything. Oh, no, this may be doable. Ooh. Nope. <laughs> not gonna work. It's gotta be extra spacing that's throwing out the symmetry. Dude, this looks absolutely terrible. I can-ish signal it. I can actually signal pretty much everything I need to. No, not doable. I think I can signal it, but it looks like horrible. Hey, Saturday nine. What's going on? Um, yeah. What a pain, man. Hey, K June. Oh yeah, that that is just uh. Oh. Well, part of it might be that I'm not. Ah. <laughs> That could be part of the issue, um, of why it doesn't look good. Is this the same way? No, those are good. Might help. Ish. The inner rails aren't the same. Yeah, I just fixed it. 
Is it possible to move the turn f uh, from the far right lane to right one tile? What, this? Oh, this. But seriously increase the spacing on the lower tracks and then have them turn in. See if it's better. That would be really weird though, Hope. That's perfect. This would actually work. I mean, Hope, well, can't you? I can signal this, can't I? I mean, everything. This should be perfectly signalable. Yeah. Ish. Can't signal in here. Which could be an issue. Yeah, I actually really kind of need a signal in here. And it'd be cool, though. Uh, fine. No, but it makes the blueprint so much harder. Signal it, then show blocks. Okay. This, I mean, this really actually does not look very good at all, but whatever. Okay, so we need to signal here. Why do you need a signal there? Well, don't you need chain signals before each crossing, right? So, like, you want one in here, I think. Um, so this guy here, um, before merge. This one. Uh. Uh. I always forget what direction I'm going. Don't you also need I'll to bring, be back. uh... It's East Lines 2. I'm just working on the top currently. Uh, Jay Brooks, thanks for the follow. I think you only really need signals when trains are able to go in both of the blocks at the same time. If they always cross there, then there isn't much point. Hmm. True. Okay, so I think we need rail signal here, rail signal here, rail signal here, rail signal here. Why can I not signal this part? Oh, because it's on a turn. That's less than ideal. Um... But it's gonna have to work. And then same here, so we want... Could this move forward? No. We want to signal here, here, and here. And then... Um, these guys, we want one here, here, here. And here there, there, and there, and then these guys, we want one there, see, we really need one in the middle, is, is the problem, but I guess that's okay, and then we need a guy there, we need chains here, chains here, and chains here, and then another chain here, here, there, there, for merge, this merge, and then, uh, and then one, like, here and here. And then, do we need signals after this? Yeah, we probably would, wouldn't we? I mean, we kind of have them. Uh, and then this one comes down, comes down, comes up. I'm still missing a few chain signals in here. Uh, or no, I'm not, actually. Uh, we do want one, like, here, though, I think. Uh, sure, you don't. That's one I say. Uh, look at him go. My brain is melting. So is mine, Warm Fist, dude. My brain is melting, so I'm just, like, I'm, I'm flowing with the melt, and I'm just, like, placing stuff just <laughs> randomly. No, that's a rail. What? Where? What? Um, okay. I'm gonna stand here. Someone tell me if this is signaled right, what I'm missing. Whenever I see a 4x4T junction, I always think, what, 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 a Christmas tree? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Use the rail signals outside the T-junction using chains inside the junction, pretty much. 
Uh, now, I haven't done the other parts. I should probably do these other parts as well, huh? I think I need these parts, though. Turn on blocks. Um, okay. Rail blocks. What do you think, Hope? Is this doable? Um, yeah, I don't really know, like, what is good in terms of the blocks or not. Do you see an issue? Well, I don't know. I don't know how to tell if it's an issue. Got the hard part done. Yeah, I mean, I think this works. I, I was asking if you saw an issue, Hope. Not if I saw an issue. You're missing a signal. Shoot. Yeah, something looks off. Ish. Got it. Wait, no, I don't. I don't got it. <laughs> Only thing I change is move the signals for the bottom two lanes closer. Which bottom two lanes? These two? In the, these signals? Well, they need. I need to do the turns first. Where the hell am I missing a signal? Dude... How the how how am I supposed to uh Oh. I'm actually missing no I do have signals there. Right side second lane from the bottom. Here? What you mean a signal after it? Blue in the middle. Can I post images of my intersection? I think you should be allowed to. Um, let me... Correct. Correct. But I don't see where I'm missing... Well, but it already has a signal down here. Same with this one. If I need to put a signal here, then that means I also need to put signals here on all the parts. Right? Yours are, that's for left-hand drive, isn't it? Okay, June, that's like completely screwing with my brain. Um, what, there? Just like that? I don't really understand, like, what... Is that better? You have one on the green part before the yellow on the second lane. Here? Oh my gosh, this is screwing with my head so much. I don't understand what the issue is. Okay, I'm just gonna do the turns. That might help with my brain melting. Is that too close? There are two, but on the right there's only one. What, here? But that, that we need a chain signal here before a crossing. That's why there's not one here, because w there's no crossing afterwards. 
Just bribe our seating. Yeah, it only takes five bucks. Damn you, Hope. Just debunked a huge base with my lovely tank. <laughs> nice. Look at the top. What about the top? Yeah, chat, do a screenshot, circle it, and send it to XT. Yeah, please. Like, between the stream delay and, like, ten different people telling me things at the same time, my brain, okay, it's impossible for me to understand what you're actually talking about. Scion is two, and on the other side is red and yellow. Here? That Yeah, that's because there's more more crossings. This part, essentially equivalent to, like, this part, I think. I think I see what you mean, but I need to do the other turns first. I think that would help. Um, yeah, that would definitely help, I think. So, if we do that, that means he needs to go, like, there. How does that work? Is that supposed to go the other way? Is that really supposed to be like that short? Oh, this should be interesting. Oh, I don't know how this is gonna work. You guys told me to signal this first, but it's actually, there's no way I can do that. Screw you, game. I want to connect. Shit. Hey, this ain't gonna work, guys. I don't think I should have signaled first. How are these turns supposed to work? Nearly lost my glasses. <laughs> um, yeah, this, uh, this, this ain't, this ain't, this ain't gonna work. May cross over the white block. Well, that's what I'm trying to do. Could you, could you, could you not? Could you? Yeah, this is why I don't use shift. Do you need to move the entire junction? No. <laughs> to be honest, I found setting up the bottom as a hard part because right-hand drive is weird like that. Yeah. This is harder than I thought. Get the turn intersections away from the straight pass. The matter of my brain is melting. <laughs> Why are there no trains active? I would like to stay alive today if possible. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. I may have to move this and it that's gonna really piss me off because I don't want to move it. Yeah, because that doesn't look bad at all. Um, so we need one here. And then another one here. That looks pretty crappy. Let me turn off the rail blocks for right now. That looks really bad. But, you know. Uh, and then these... Exterminator, when you use shift placing, I have never seen, uh, when you use shift placing, I've never seen you use the R function. Have you tried it? Uh, no, I haven't. I have no clue what you're doing. That makes two of us, Zaliard. That makes two of us. Alright, so, swear to God. Oh, shit. Hey, that is my rail tanker. No, 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 no. It's, oh, if he kills my rail tanker, do not... Do not, that's full of stuff. You know, fuck. That was important, man. That was full of oil. You little shit. Shut up, chat. 
Oh, you're- oh, you ki- oh! Oh, those were important, man. That's it. What, uh, what? Why can't you go to Ray? What the fuck? Why can't you go? No path. Uh, I disagree. Is this not actually connected? Ew. There we go. I think. Calls my back turning messy. <laughs> yeah, well, hey, v, at least my belts are, like, straight for more than ten feet. Yeah, these guys are dead now, after I finished my rails. Where did they even come from? I killed everything. Yeah, I should probably make a turret, huh? Prefer if that didn't happen again. Uh, our base is currently off. I should probably have it be doing something while I'm out here designing stuff. There you go, eat that, you stupid bugs. At least V45 have working junctions. Shut up! I will soon. Can't believe I finally found you. Hey, welcome, Red Katana. Okay, so we need to turn on some stuff in the base, because I'd like it to be doing things while I'm out there. Hey, Kana, what's going on? So we're going to up our storage of these guys to, well, it's the wrong button, 150. So when I make the intersection, I made left-hand drive into right-hand drive if you want. Okay, show me that. Alright, so that's turned on, and then we also want... I want to bump up modules a little bit. Sinking. Watching the last supporter video launching into space, he's got a lot of pollution. Biter base nearby seems to never attack him. And here he gets attacked by him finally. <laughs> Crazy day in the neighborhood. Nothing new, but always fun. Nice. Um, okay, so... I'm gonna set you to 50. I'm gonna slowly increase these. I don't want to like just spike them to like 300 or a thousand or whatever. Give the base something to do while I'm working. Okay. Let me finish these turns and see how this pans out at all. There's one just to the south outside the power part, really? Out there, but it's not really being hit. South. Oh, out here? Yeah, but I don't... Would they really go... They wouldn't go all the way to oil, I don't think. Um... Okay, so... I would say retard fat rather than immense, but yeah, that's one way to put it. Comes back to my base. 32 incoming belts of red, of iron, 16 belts of copper, 16 belts of green circuits. Uh, 8 belts of steel, 5 belts of red circuits. So, in other words, your base lags? That, that's kind of what it sounds like to me. Shut up. Okay, so there's that, and then this one. It's a belt. I'm not gonna build an intersection with a belt. Oh, come on. Okay, what does the R key do? Yeah, it doesn't help. You idiot game. Holy hell. 
Jesus. That's that's it. Screw you. I don't care what you kill. I want to finish my junction, and then I'm gonna go on a rampage. Hmm. This is a bit of an issue. I, think I have to start sooner. That. Oh, this is like literally impossible. It's fine. Oh, I think this junction's rip. Yeah, I could move the chain signal. Yeah, yep. Someone's gonna die tonight. And I can tell you it's not gonna be me. Yeah, I'll need to go move that signal. I actually don't need a second one. I'll be back. There we go. Um, Rick Donna, thank you for the follow. But I like my life. Well, I hope the biters don't like their life too much because they're about to be over. Can I please just make this last turn before you attack me again? I'm not moving from this spot until I get this done. Let's move the chain signal this time. I feel like this is really not going to actually work very well. Oh dear. And then there actually needs to be like another signal in here. And then this one had both those, that has that. These guys go like that. And I think that should have actually fixed my rail block problem. Maybe. Yeah, that looks a bit better. Wrong line needs to go to the line above. Oh, right. Rip. <laughs> um, actually, this signal is still needed. And then this chain signal, I'll have to move that. My bad. The life will be over in a friendly way. Cough, nukes, cough, radiation, cough. Straight on and not interfere each other. Well, it does matter a bit. Okay, dudes, you better let me signal this here, and then we need one here, and this actually, this guy missed some signals, didn't he? No. And then another one here, and that should be good. Okay, I think those rail blocks are a little bit better. These two probably could move. In fact, these probably do need to move, but... Um, I actually need, I actually need more signals than that. I actually need a signal there. There we go, that should fix them. Now you need to do a second regular signal in the white. Yeah, I think I got it. Right? Yeah, so that I'll should be work. Back. Um Arceus, thank you for the follow. Okay, I think that works. Um 
And then we do need some signals over here. I guess I wouldn't... Well, those have it. I, I, I guess I could get rid of these. In fact, I probably would want to. Because this could cause a train to stop, like, in the intersection. This way, hopefully, a train could make it most of the way through here. So, I was going the wrong direction, but... How long is the stream going to take... Um, I don't, I, I don't know. I'm gonna stream for another hour-ish. By the way, making right-hand drive is hard. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, do I suck at trains. I know the feeling. Hey, Liquid, how you doing? Um, actually, so this gets me thinking, guys. Shouldn't, like, one of these be a chain signal? Because if, if a train comes down here, right, and he wants to turn this way, he's going to come through, and if there's no train in, in like, this block, he's going to come up, or, or rather, if it's a 3103 train, he's going to come up and stop at this signal, and if there's a train up here, he's going to stop, and, like, a 3103 train is still going to be sticking out into the intersection. Wouldn't I want him to make sure he could get all the way out? Or does that mean I just need to make these signals farther down? Just like get rid of these signals on this junction and make them farther down. Most right hand drive master race, yes. Are you going to join Colonel Will after you're done streaming? Probably not. I have some other stuff I need to do tonight. Moist? Mission complete. Who's moist? What? <laughs> the one on the turn should be a chain signal. That's kind of what I thought. Little question. When I finish my base, that crazy one I told about five minutes ago, would you consider doing a base tour? Um, I'm not sure. We're not really doing any base tours at the moment. Where the rail signal is now, go down the turn, and after it, connect back, place another rail signal. What? Up-down link should be equal to left-right link. That's a good point. Shouldn't you extend the signals going east and west the same way you did on the south end? Um, well, no, because... These are okay. I can, well, maybe I should extend these, actually. Junction, the junction's fine. I do need to move these, though. And people are right. This should actually be, like, the length of this bit. So, if we take this, because this is the length. This is correct-ish. Yeah. So if we do this, and we tie it into, like... That'd actually be perfect, almost. So that's a little bit long. Hmm. I think that would be almost right, wouldn't it? Hey, Waboom, what's up? This is, I think this works, doesn't it? I need to zoom out farther. Seems a little bit long. I think actually like... You know, this is what it's gonna have to be. Remove the poles. Well, really I need to remove part of the track. Go on, have fun. Alright, see you later, Ender Blast.
What's this? A modern new release. Um, what do you mean? Curves on the end equal to the bits that go over. Yeah, I could remove some poles. Actually, really, to make this easier, I should just make use a short part and just <laughs> do it manually. This would be so much easier. So if I just take this, so this is like one section, and then another section would be there. So that's one, two, and then like three and four. Oh, it's the debug settings. Yeah, if you hit F4 and you go to show rail blocks, that's what the color things are. Am I really out of rail? Jeez. God, dude, I took like 500 rail. This is ridiculous. Don't do it like this. Why not? No, it's not a mod. Remove those sections, start new from the junction. Why? This makes it tileable. Like, using the sections I already have, I don't see why that's an issue. I really don't think this is an issue. It's actually maybe a little long. It's maybe like one power pull long. It's fine though. We'll fix it. What I what I care about is getting these hooked up. Screw you. Really? Can overlap the signals in the blueprint with the lowest signal in the junction? What, this? Section you have is not aligned to the junction. You ever done the scenarios? Yeah, like the campaign? A little bit. Well, but half these are chain signals. So if I line these up... Which doesn't even work, by the way. So you mean, like, go from here? Yeah, but the power pole spacing isn't going to be different. Why won't this let me connect a red wire to the other pole? Is it too far away? Oh, come on. Screw you then, man. Okay, well, I may need to move it closer anyways. <laughs> If that's the case, um, wouldn't it be easy to make a roundabout? Um, a roundabout will not work. Roundabouts are not good at all for throughput. Far left lane isn't rail signaled for train clearing the intersection, isn't it? Far left lane, which, dude, you're gonna have to be like, think of your explanation, think of your, like, explanation, and then make it ten times more detailed. Because I have no idea what you're talking about. You mean this one? Far left lane, so this one isn't rail signaled for train clearing the intersection. I, I don't know what you mean. 
I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just redo these power pulls, huh? And this is way too long. Stop fucking killing my stuff again. Fine, it's just pipe. War. Right X um, on the vertical bit. Oh, uh, here? Or here? Yeah, well, I need to redo the signals. I'm not done yet. Better get a refinery on the craft. And then these need to move, I think, because the problem now is that this is not tileable. Hence the reason I did it the other way. All right, see you later, Unfurled Adam. Have a good one. Left side, bottom lane, going into T. It turns and comes out on left lane at the bottom of the T. Well, yeah, here. The turn there, you have a rail signal before the intersection. Shouldn't that be a chain signal? Intersection entrance. And then after the turn connects to the left lane on the bottom, it should be a rail signal. I think the signaling is fine. My PC just randomly fired up in the middle of the night. Is Vectro calling me? Probably. So you think like here or here needs to be a chain signal? Is that what you're saying? Or here? I better actually go like stop this idiot. Hey, demon. But I just came back from their lunch. Yeah, apparently. Just one little shithead. Oh, that's a lot of refineries. Someone, oh man, these guys are gonna die. It's gonna be painful. Um, no, I don't think it needs to be a rail signal as long as I have enough. If it's the place I think you're talking about, I think it's fine as long as I have a big enough distance for my longest train to fit, like onto that vertical straight part um, without it still sitting part way in the junction. Okay, so grab some stuff, make some more refineries. 
Exterminator, maybe some turrets area where defenses are quite useful. No, I'm just gonna go kill them all. Let me take a look at it. Um, yeah, I'll run back down there in a second, Demon. Um, and you can confirm if it's right. Can we have a look at your levels of infinite research? Um, well, there's nothing to look at. I haven't done any. Actually, I have. I've done robot speed 6. And I've done bullet damage 7. That's the only infinite research I've done. Come on, man. This guy killed a lot. This guy killed a lot, a lot. Um. Is there anything in particular wrong with this refinery? What the fuck? Place the ref Jesus. <laughs> Idiot robots. Ran out of energy. Well, screw him. He shouldn't have fallen behind. Alrighty, demon. Um, you can take a look at this. I think it's okay. When an unstoppable force meets exterminator's base, you're in far away from it while trying to pick up the refinery from you. Well, you should have been faster. Alright, here you go, demon. Should kill them all dead in an environmental friendly way with nukes. I don't have nukes yet, unfortunately. Alright. It really looks fine to me. Yeah, I think it is too. I'm just having Demon check. He knows his stuff. I just want multiple checks of confirmation. Um, I do need to signal the vertical part first, but... Um, I think that, like, these need to just go away. And then as long as this part... Tiles with this. It kind of does. It's actually need to like move down one. On the right and left sides of the top far are the next sections. What? But provide a blueprint string for this by any chance. Um yeah, at some point I will provide a blueprint book of all my rail stuff, um, but I'd like to wait until I'm done with it. Yeah, I think this is fine. This may actually need to be even longer, because I still don't think a 3103 can actually fit in here without still sticking into the intersection. Oh, hey, bot! Darren, with all your contribution tutorial on this game, did you work with devs, dev team or not? Um, go, go back up to it. Come on, demon. Gotta look faster, man. Um, I haven't... Um, I haven't worked, like, I'm not on the dev team, but I did work with the devs a bit, uh, when I wrote the, uh, strategy guide for the game. And I talk to the devs fairly often. Um, Open World Addict, thank you for the host. This is a lot of signals. Alright, Demon, I'm moving. I need to go get ammo. We're gonna go kill some stuff, and then I'm gonna work on my 90 degree turns. Exterminator, please remove all the poles and signals on vertical lines and place new stamps from your blueprint to guarantee it's a proper length. Didn't you just tell me not to do that?
X is an X crossing. Yeah, right. You can move. I have a screenshot. I just need to compensate for this ridiculous side of travel. <laughs> okay. Alright, bud. You came at the wrong time, because I'm about to gear up and go kill all your friends. I don't know why it needs to be the same length as my other blueprints. I'm not going to be tiling on top of the entire thing. I'm going to be tiling at the end of it, which does work. Uh, Waboon, okay, you a little like an influencer for the dev team? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say, I would say they consider some of my feedback, but I certainly don't, like, really influence decisions, I don't think. I would never presume to do that, I like, I would never presume that I do, but. Uh, okay, so we need ammo. And we're gonna go kill stuff. We're gonna see how this new bullet damage upgrade helps us out. I'm just gonna kill everything, really. Go get some rocket fuel for the tank. It's to make sure you got a full... Make a tile. Okay, well... I'll have to go look at that. Um... We need to head down this way anyway. I'm gonna go kill this base, and then... We'll go check. Alright, you stupid bugs. Put uh, my robots in my auto trash for now. So that they don't fly out and die. Six missing signals. I don't believe you, demon. Rock fuel for a tank? Hell yeah! Uh, if I am missing signals, Demon, is there some way you can mark on a picture and send it to me? There's no way I'm going to know where you're talking about if you just tell me. This guy needs to go. I was actually working pretty close to this. These damage upgrades are nuts, man. Now, where is the fun in that? Well... <laughs> I'm just gonna ignore you if you just try to tell me, because it's way too confusing. It just melts everything. I love uranium ammo. Someone needs to write a program where you just make an intersection, copy the blueprint, string into a program, and then returns the blueprint back to you with a properly signal. Probably not possible. That would be really cool. Alright, let's see if our damn thing is long enough. So, um, I guess the main thing would be to see if it's even, if the first one's even long enough, huh? <laughs> uh, so, this would be like, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three. So that would pretty much fit there because this guy would go like that. Okay, so ju I'm just double checking that this section is in fact long enough. And then we can take this section and compare it to the vertical of the T-junction. But, uh, it, you know, it wouldn't do any good if this wasn't long enough to begin with. Is there a thing that some players do in Factura that can really annoy you? Yeah, making buffers. Standard link train. It's really interesting to see how much pollution trees absorb. Yeah, they do absorb quite a bit. Uh, so somewhere I have that blueprint. Okay, so Yoni. Where are you saying that I start this from? Just like from here? Or from this power pole? 
Like, that's what I was not understanding when you tried to tell me, is where am I supposed to start this from to see if a train can fit here? Only buffer I make a train station loading and unloading. Well, yeah, that's fine. That doesn't really even count. Right up against the junction. Screw you, pole. Okay, well, I'm not going to do a power pull there, but what I am going to do is... Wow, I actually need to zoom out. <laughs> Oh shoot, I can't do this without disabling achievements. Darn it. The answer is I need to make it longer. Alright, good night V. Have a good night. I'll talk to you later. Well, this is annoying. I don't want to place it over that because it's going to mess up my stuff. I need to make one without the power pulls. Although I suppose... I suppose that if I did this, this would actually be a better power pull arrangement, wouldn't it? Yeah. Get rid of this. Terminate if you recall from earlier. The rail going south was from a blueprint that you placed and wasn't sure exactly where it needed to be, so it won't add up in placing it. Soviet Russia, pull screw you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Place it next to it, but I still can't see. Yeah, I suppose that could work, but I this power pull placement is probably better anyway because it matches the rest of it. These signals are going to screw up everything, though. Need to make it longer. Alright. Holy hell, this is a big freaking junction. Jesus. Down one rail? Nope, oh, too late for that. This is ridiculous, man. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, let's connect this up. Dude, this is ridiculous. How big of a junction this is. Uh, picture from Demon. Change to normal requires normal signal. I already have a normal signal here, though, Demon. I don't understand... Why would I want another signal right after this one? Or do you mean in place of this one? And that is how much room you need on the left and right sides of the top? I guess you're right, huh? That's a bit of an issue, isn't it? For efficiency. Okay, so I want one, like, just before this? You see... Change to normal. I still don't understand, Demon, why I would want to change... Yeah, Demon's right. Yeah, I don't trust... I trust this, that you want these closer. Changing this to a normal, though, I do not trust. I'm pretty sure you always want a chain signal before a crossing. I, I agree with you on this. This needs to be closer. That I do agree with. However, all this actually probably needs to go away. Actually... Well, no. Yeah, but 
if you get rid of this chain signal demon, what's going to happen is a train's going to come into here and stop here, right? If there's something in the way, like out here, if a train is out here, another train is going to stop right here, and it's going to block both of these paths if you put a normal signal before this. Right? So as it is now, if we have a train, say... You know, going if it's out here, it's fine, right? But if we have a train that's going through, okay, right now, another coming train is going to stop here until that one fully clears and leave this space open. Yeah, but Demon is saying if you... Re if I place this with a normal, which is what Demon's suggestion, that won't work because then a train is going to come in He's going to be like, oh, this signal's green, and he's going to stop at this chain signal. Well, what's happened now is these two entire paths are blocked while he's waiting for the train in front of him. So I'm saying that I do not agree with the decision to replace this chain signal. We want these chain signals. So seriously, either side of this junction needs to be the same length as this? You gotta be kidding me. I'll look at Mojo's. That's not the case. I feel like this is way too long, honestly. You can probably cut it off at the first set of signals. Yeah, it won't fit a 3103. That is the issue. So I don't know. I mean, that's the problem. We don't want a train stopping halfway through the intersection. Because that'll block throughput. And thanks for the host, Demon. Who needs a 3103 train? Me. I don't think this needs to be... No. The sides of it don't need to be the same length as this, I don't think, because if a train is already going through the intersection, like east to west or west to east, it's not going to stop part way and block other trains because of how the intersection works. If he enters the intersection, he's going to make it through the, the entire intersection, pretty much. Uh, these, I think, are too close, though. So in real, I don't think the size need to be that big. And yeah, you're right. I could make it shorter and then customize the signals after I place it, which may be the better way to do it. Because this is, I mean, this is insanely huge. This is like to the point where I can't even see the damn thing when I place it. Um, yeah, I feel like this could definitely be shorter. Probably should be. Uh, three lane spacing demon. Place in map view. I don't think I can. I don't think that's really any farther than I can zoom now. Yeah, that is even worse. In fact. Yeah, I'm gonna cut this off like here. Which means that these signals need to go. And then.
These need to move forward. For it to be able to tile correctly. Right, because now it should theoretically tile correctly with this guy. Except for not. I was right the first time. Okay, so he goes like that. Could actually probably tear up. Yep, that works. Okay. I need if the center of the T with the signals, the oncoming out and bound are not needed if you have one straight section already blueprinted. You have two overlapping signals in your straight blueprint. Okay, but I can't get rid of them. That's how it works. I can't get rid of these, because then it moves the signals. Black Extreme, you might, 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 might also want to create a safe crosswalk if interested. I already made one for you in your current three spacings, both two lanes and four lanes. Oh, I'm definitely interested in that, uh, Dutch. For sure. What's the fun in that? Well, don't worry, I'll probably forget to use it half the time. Saying you took out the second overlapping rail segment. Yeah, well, that's fine, isn't it? I don't think it matters. Okay, so this is a little, a little short now compared to these sides. I feel like this should be cut off too. Maybe not. It's a blueprint book, awesome. Oh, Dutch mentions a safe crosswalk. I was watching Willis say the map he's playing on right now. They have a safe crosswalk that lights up flashing red lights like a real train signal. That's, yeah, that's pretty awesome. I think I saw that when I joined him last night. Build in a flaw so the train targets extend when he crosses it. Great. Uh, I think this is okay. I don't really want to cut it off anymore. I do maybe need some signaling like that. Just so it tells, I would probably, um, God damn it. Um, I would probably. I would probably custom signal this anyway, so I think what I might do is just get rid of these signals entirely. Because whenever I place a junction like this, I would move the signals around after it anyways. Um, and then also, that brings up the point, I don't think I actually need these signals per se until farther down. Again, because I would want a whole train to kind of fit there. I don't think I want these actually. Gotta go, Xterm. All right, see you later, Flixian. Have a good one. Um, yeah, like I said, I would probably custom signal this. Maybe. I probably should put the signals in, actually. I'm doing that just so I can get the spacing on these guys. And actually, I think I could pull that back more. I'll be back. Yeah. Um. New Parker, thank you for the follow. Welcome. There we go. 
Same with this end. Um, get rid of those. I'm too tired. Good night, everyone. All right, see you later, Damo. Have a good one. And then these, I think, may be okay. Well, they all line up. I can't move the rails on this end, though, which is kind of weird. Hmm. You can cut off the T junction and right sides with the inner power pole and place signals there, then you then just use your normal blueprints from there. Well, I don't really want signals that close, though, I don't think. I could cut it off at the second power pole, but that's a little bit short, I think. Yeah, I think this is fine. You do want them there, and then the next set will be one train length out. I don't know. Uh, well, either way, I'm gonna call this for now. My brain's breaking for this. I want to make my 90 degree turn before I go. Um, so he's gonna be for T four lane. Oh, I'm not going quite yet. I didn't mean that. Four lane T junction. Okay, so for our 90 degrees, hopefully these should actually be fairly straightforward, I'm hoping. I've been thinking about it a bit. And I'm gonna clear out some trees here. Okay, so what I'm thinking is, for our 90 degree turns, if we take, she didn't even need to clear those trees, um, do it like down here. Scoot our tank out of the way here. Okay, so I'm thinking, what if we take our short straight sections, these ones, and we take, we do one like that, and then, I could actually like cut that in half. How many rail segments is this? Actually, that's a dumb way to do it. If I just take an empty, actually, I think I have, okay, this is 16. If I cut that in half to be eight and then do that. So if I cut, yeah, I think, I mean, that would make a pretty big turn if I do it that way. Oh, no, we'll just leave it for now. Okay, so if I take this, and then I turn, like that, so instead of doing uh, diagonals like we were doing, the, the real, uh, the issue here becomes, how the hell do I make this turn and have it be correct? 
And that's that's the problem. Because if I do that, I think that's too soon. Watching a straight guy jump in his tank is funny. Will's definitely stealing his subs. What do you mean, Hope? That does not look right. Why not grab the T-junction and just delete one side? Uh, because I don't need, like, crossings in it. So I'd have to remove all the crossings too, which would probably end up just being as much work as this. Yeah, I'm not really sure, because this turns, but then the problem is, how the hell do I... will never look right, as it will. <laughs> I refuse. I mean, that don't look bad, actually. Looks a little weird. One, two, three, four, kind of. Three, four. I actually wanted this closer, didn't I? Just duplicate the blueprint and you edit the copy by removing the extra side. I could. I think it's still not going to be what I want, though. Yeah, right, that looks like crap. Three diagonals is not the same uh, width as three... Three of the other ones. How about you put a short straight segment that lines up with the innermost first before working on the curve section? Well, that would probably work. Why not ghost planning? Because it requires me to do it is less control. Shift click. Shift click doesn't give me as much control though, because it doesn't allow me to just well also my robots place it. Uh, that's part of the reason. Um Okay, so if we do that. See, this is why I do this on stream. You guys are smart. This is still going to make it a little bit difficult. So if I hold shift and do that. Oh, see, that's that's good. That's what I'd like. Huh. No, nope, never mind. <laughs> Not at all. Uh, I think we need to come out. Like two more, maybe. That looks better. Use power poles and create the diagonal. Lost me hope. Spacing looks wrong. About like that. Out one more, yep. Although I feel like the spacing in the middle was maybe too big. Spacing in the middle actually looked a little bit too big. I mean, I guess that's not bad.
Okay, so we do that. Um, we want some signals back here, though. Something seems to have gone amiss. <laughs> Let's count to be sure they're all the same width. I actually don't even know if I want signals in the turn. I probably don't. I could, I suppose. Rotate 180. How would that help? Well, let me get the power pole in there first. Looks about even, right? Looks pretty, dude. Test for a train. Yeah, I feel like maybe I want signals in it, but I'm not sure. Uh, where's my red wire? pretty good to me and then the good thing I think about well if see that's the thing though right on my straights on my long straights on this I have my rail signal space for every four cargo wagons I'd like it to maintain that throughout the curve as bot if possible um, so I think I may actually want these inner signals like that like those And then the other ones here. Of course, that will be too short of a space on the curves, but really, I think it's probably fine. So if we take this and we say four lane, 90 degree turn, um, and we do four what am I supposed to do for the turn? Like an L, maybe? That's like 90 degrees, right? Can I do like an upside down L? <laughs> um, I suppose that would work. C for corner, that could work. That'd probably be easier. Okay. So we do that, we do that. So the good thing about this, right? Well, A is it will still tile with this. And then also what I like about these 90 degrees opposed to the diagonals is for the di diagonals, we needed two, um, we needed two different sets to make a, like to turn the right way. Here we just turn this and it will go either direction. Um, it, well, actually not really. Oh yeah, no, it will go down that way, it can go up this way, and either way it works. Whereas with the diagonals, um, you know, this could only turn like up or that way or whatever. I guess it would actually have worked any, anyway almost. Well, no, not really. So like this one couldn't turn up from this end, right? Because, I mean, it's a di diagonal. That's why I like this 90 degree because it just you just have one, and then you just rotate it four directions. Um, and it works. So, let's see. We have our turn, we have our T-junction, we have the straights. Uh, really, the only other thing we need is um, like a T-junction that is only like two rails for like an outpost or something cuz i mean you don't need four rails for one outpost um but i think that would actually be something i'd do custom like what i would do right is well no i i really should have a blueprint for it four track 4 5 four track 90 what are you talking about hope 
I have four track 90, diagonal T. No, I don't want to build diagonals. I'm not going to build diagonals. Um, or are you just giving abbreviations? So how would I even do that if... So if I only want two tracks, I essentially just want like this one and this one. Which means I could actually just modify this. Well, not really, because that means he only goes to certain lanes. I'd like him to go to both lanes. So I would almost need a different design. What if I took... Because this is this length, right? Well, not really. So I should extend this just so it is that length. Um, for lane wobbly wobbly. What's a wobbly wobbly? <laughs> um, what, what if I took this thing and then I just did... Yeah, let, let's, let's try that. I may not have enough signals, but... Clear out all this crap. Lane switching or lane sharing is the worst thing you can do for throughput. So you mean you only want it going to one? Instead of two, is that what you're saying, Hope? Lots of turns, no straights, oh god. Yeah, I know I cut him off, but <laughs> I changed my mind, all right? Uh, well, if we only want him going to one, then I could just take this T-junction and just chop off these end ones. Um, so actually, it may just, yeah. Right? So if I take this, let's do it out here. It's going to take a couple days to build this. No, those aren't lane switches. Well, then why were you yelling at me? I don't understand what you're saying then. I didn't, I don't think I suggested a lane switch. Well, they should have no reason to connect it to. Oh, okay, well then yeah, then I won't. I'll just, um, No, I did say that, but what I'm saying is, so like, for two lanes, right, I want these inside two lanes. So if I just chop off this bit, what I was saying is that, you know, this one can't connect to this one. So he's forced onto this, which I guess is good. It just means that for every outpost I make, this lane is gonna, this lane, uh, like, yeah, this won't work because that means that this outside lane is gonna have, like, no traffic and that this inside lane is going to have all the traffic because every single outpost I make will only allow trains to go to the one lane. Right? One to two is fine. Lane splitting isn't bad. Okay, well then yeah. And I think we, I think we both misunderstood each other. And I'm doing this manually because it's like impossible to do with robots. I'm gonna have to uh, like resignal this whole thing.
Is that my T junction demon? That's a lot of signals. That is a lot of signals. Okay, so we're going to tear this up. Then we're going to have to resignal a couple things. Like all of this. Um, because what we want. So, okay, so here's a question for you, Hope or Demon or anybody. If I want this to be able to connect to any of the lanes, what would be the best way to do that? just like so this one if this guy wants to connect to it I'm not really sure how to do that like that's like not even gonna be an option is it And then merge from four lanes to two lanes past the intersection. That may actually be a better idea. Now that I think about it. Yeah, because this is just going to be an utter pain. Because it's going to require something like that. Which is just going to, like, break. I think I agree with you, tech, uh, Texan. I think just a straight up. Let's make a two to four intersection. I think you're right. I think doing a normal... Yeah, I think just... I think you're right. So if I take this again... So I do that. But then, yeah, but then I want to merge these down. I, I, yeah, I think that would be better. So if we do this, actually, let's, let's bring them out. Let's take our two lane segment. God damn it. Um, Do that. And then pull these back. Give it a three eight three space pre merge. Okay. Why not three ten three hope? Yeah, I probably should give it a longer thing to merge, huh? Actually, 
Actually, you know what? This is going to be another huge blueprint. Instead of just making this one thing, what I should do is just make a special one just for merging them. I guess that's more work though, huh? Okay, so that's one, two, So if I take my long one, this is uh, this is going to be huge, Hope. <laughs> this is why I didn't want to do this. This is going to be absolutely gigantic. Because that's how much space I have to give before I merge them. So having this as one blueprint is going to be a bit nuts. Um, right, bedtime, 1.25 a.m. Alrighty, see you later, Dutch. So if I then extend these out... Not enough rail. That way two can clear. Oh yeah, I guess that's true, huh? Uh, doesn't take red and green wires to stamp down a blueprint with some in it? Uh, no. You actually get free ones, believe it or not. So if we do that and then take our two-lane section, will this work, is what I'm wondering. Kind of. We'd have to space it, but this would pretty much work. You wouldn't have your red-green wire, though. So if I did that, I want some different signals here though. I want these like here. I think. And then and then just one there. Seems a little bit odd. We have this. Actually, that would work pretty well. This guy could actually move down a little bit. He moved to there. And we then have our two lanes straight. He could overlap. Not quite. He needs to move back one. Same as the other side. Well, I don't think I need one here. Well, this should work for both, shouldn't it? Actually, yeah, I'm not really sure. I suppose something like that wouldn't be a bad idea. Maybe actually spacing them the same way would help. <laughs> um... Because then this should allow me to just, yeah, just do that. It's going to, the power pole spacing isn't going to be quite the same. I could extend this, I suppose, to make it the same. I'm guessing I did full power pole links here. I actually don't think I did. 
Oh, I did whatever that is. Is that full length? No, it's not. It's actually less. Why is that? I think it was just the spacing of my thing. So if I do that, so it's one less than full. So like there, I'm just trying to make this so that it's easier to mess with. So then this guy goes like here maybe. You slip both ways, what? Well, this one's fine, I think. No, that one's fine. And then this one's fine, I think. Oh, nope. <laughs> there you go, you're right. Okay, so then this needs to move up one. Which means that these could come back one. He needs to move, I think. There we go. Okay, so there's that. That's actually on the wrong side. Um, there we go. Because now when I place my two lane onto this, it's going to line up perfectly. And then I just run the two lane to the outpost. Signal was on the wrong side, though. So this should work, and then I just need my wire... It's a big-ass blueprint, but I'll just hope there's nothing in the way, and I'll shift-click it down when I need it. Um, and then, yeah, that should be it. Looks like we were missing a signal there. This is huge, but, you know. Take this, and we'll just do say <clears throat> four lane T or I'll say four to two lane T junction and then this guy will go four to two T should I do f T to two T to two maybe Four to two T. That looks better in the picture. You could just blueprint only the merge part since the T junction is the same. Uh, that is true. I would just need to remember that I need to go down. The only reason I'm doing it is one blueprint is that it makes it easier because if I don't do that, then I have to remember I need to extend the straight down like four lengths before I put that merge part and I may not always remember to do that um that's the only reason because I know my memory's bad <laughs> and I know I'm gonna mess it up at least this this way it's like I have the blueprint I know it's right and then I can just plop it down without making mistakes You cut off some track at the rightmost, didn't you? There's a power pole missing. I don't think so. On the blueprint? Um, I'm actually wondering. You may be right. So if I do 
So where would I cut this off? Oh, and this signal's wrong anyway. Wait. Hold up. <laughs> Something got messed up. Nice, a buffer junction. Have you looked at the biggest junction that uses train buffers? Bigger junctions that use train buffers? No, I don't think train buffers are really good, necessarily, unless you mean something else. Something is wrong here. These signals are too far away. Damn it. <laughs> there we go, I think. Yeah. All right, well, crap. The whole thing needs to be redone. Four lane T junction. Yep. Bye bye. Need to re blueprint this. My signals were wrong. <laughs> How did it know that that's the name I wanted? That's pretty awesome. Oh, I know. That's the wrong thing. It's the other one I'd save. Whoops. <laughs> um, four lane T junction. Go four T. there. That's better because now these actually line up. So this is one. So if I make that other straight merge part, that means that I need to go, I need to cut it. And then this is wrong. Uh, let me replace this down. Okay, so that's like one of those. And then I made this another one, two, three in the merge. So if I cut this, I need to cut this like, or blueprint it rather. Like here? I think this is where I would want to blueprint it. So if we do four lane, lane two, or I'll just say four to two lane merge. Capitalization exterm. Okay, do that, and four uh, to two. And do that. Let me just make sure this is actually gonna line up. Except that it's actually I know what I need to do. Um, I 
because it had the signals on the wrong side again. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of these. And then now... going to do that. Four to two lane merge. We're getting faster. We're getting better. All right. There we go. Yep. Okay, so this should be correct now. Because he goes there. Those are lined up. So then if I get rid of all of this, then we can actually see if it lines up. And I I'll think be that back. this should work. I'll replace down the T-junction on top of that just to make sure I get the full thing. By the way, extreme that also your minimum distance between junctions. That's also your minimum. Oh, you mean the 3103 spacing, Hope? Yeah. So we do that, and then we do our this one. Or actually, let's take the T junction first. Let's see. Okay, so he is. Place those signals. Get rid of these signals. And then take our 4 to 2 lane. And it's perfect. Sweet. All right. So that's done. That's the main things we need. Like I said, I don't really want to be doing diagonal T junctions. And Y junctions also are only for diagonals, which I'm not sure I'd really want to do. So these are the main things we need, pretty much. And then that's it. Okay, so then this one go away. We don't need two. I would think my modules would be done by now, so I'm gonna knock out some research. Modules were actually done probably a long time ago, but... For all I know, my entire base is just, like, shut off because it's out of power or something, and I haven't noticed this entire time. It's doing research. That's good news, right? I'm going to put these all in a blueprint book. Alrighty, let's go see how our base is doing, and then I think I'm gonna have to call it quits because I am starving. Looks like modules are good. I'm going to bump them up even more. Just let our base completely run out of resources, you know. Alrighty, guys, I think I'm going to call the stream here. I need to go eat. Um, and then, yeah, I think that'll do it. I'll also be streaming tomorrow. Uh, we're going to do the uh, patron playthrough starting tomorrow. Uh, after I finish here, I'm going to throw together the mod pack for it and link it in the patron lounge Discord so that we, uh, you guys can grab it. And I already posted that starting time and such in there with a the countdown, so... Should be pretty good to go. And, uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. It'll be a lot of fun. Gonna do Marathon SpaceX stuff. And, uh, and yeah, I'm gonna send you over to Will. I think he's streaming. 
but as always guys thank you so much for watching i appreciate it and also um Kwantek, thanks for the follow I uh, hope you guys have a great rest of the day, um, evening, wherever you are, and I will see you on YouTube and see you tomorrow.